the whistling language. In Spanish, Silbo Gomero means Gomer in whistling, which is an apt name for the language spoken on La Gomera in the Canary Islands. You see, this language is made up entirely of whistling sounds. The language is used by Guanches, the original people of the Canary Islands, long before Spanish settlement. It is a whistled form of the original Guanche language, which died out around the 17th century. Not much is known about the spoken language of those people, save for a few words recorded in the journals of travelers and a few others that were integrated into the Spanish spoken on the Canary Islands. It is believed that spoken Guanche had a simple phonetic pattern that made it easily adaptable to whistling. The language was whistled across the Canary Islands, popular on Gran Canaria, Tenerife, and El Hero, as well as La Gomera. It's likely that the first Guanches were from North Africa and brought the idea of a whistled language with them, as there are several different whistling languages that have been recorded there. From the time of Guanche settlement, the language evolved into Guanche whistling and then to Silbo. Today, Silbo is a whistled form of Spanish. It was adopted in the 16th century after the last of the Guanches adapted their whistled language to Spanish. The language works by replicating timbre variations in speech. One study showed that Silbo is recognized in the language center of the brain by Silbo whistlers, though regular Spanish speakers who were not Silbo whistlers simply recognized it as whistling. As to why such a version of a language would originally be developed at all, it is thought that Silbo was developed as a form of long-distance communication. The island of Lago Mera is awash with hills, valleys, and ravines. A whistle can travel up to two miles across a landscape, and the whistler doesn't have to expend as much energy as he would by hiking or shouting, and in the latter case, the whistled message is heard farther away besides. When Lago Mera was largely an agricultural island, crops and herds of animals like sheep would be spread out across the hills, and herders would use language to communicate with one another across these large distances. Speaking via whistling still saw widespread use as late as the 1940s and 50s when another purpose was discovered. If a fire started, the Guardia Civil would make civilians drop what they were doing, but the locals wouldn't get paid for their work, despite the Guardia receiving a payment. So locals passed a message along by whistling, telling others to hide when the Guardia Civil approached. Because the Guardia Civil didn't understand Silbo, it was a sort of secret language among the locals. Unfortunately, economic hardship around the 1950s put Silbo speaking in the decline, as most of the whistlers were forced to move to find better opportunities. The introduction of roads and the invention of the mobile phone also contributed to the decline, as they made Silbo largely unnecessary. By the end of the 20th century, the whistled language was dying out. However, as an integral part of the island's history, there was interest in reviving the language to preserve the culture. The call for revival was met with mixed emotions, because many people thought of it as a peasant language of little use to them. Despite the protests, every primary school child on Lago Mera today is required to learn the whistling language, with it being taught in the island schools. The revival of Silbo has other benefits too. Silbo is one of the few whistling languages that has been studied in depth, and researchers believe that its simplicity, with only two to four vowels and four consonants, holds the key to discovering how other languages developed, despite not knowing the exact origin of Silbo itself. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.